Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com. Today we are at the Heart Valve Summit in Chicago, Illinois, and I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Mark Gilinoff, who is the Chair of Cardiac Surgery at the Cleveland Clinic. Mark, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. So, one of the questions that we have from a lot of our patients is about the mind and how to deal with this experience of heart surgery both before and after surgery. And what we've seen is that many patients, as they go through this process, get depressed. And we hear this term, cardiac depression after surgery. Can you talk about some of the things that you're doing there at the Cleveland Clinic to help patients both before and after surgery deal with depression? Sure. Cardiac depression is a real thing. It's more than being upset or a little bit dispirited because you had a heart problem. About 20, maybe 25% of people who have a cardiac event, heart surgery, heart attack, angioplasty, stenting, any cardiac event, about a quarter of them are going to get some form of cardiac depression, which is a real entity. The first thing to do is to educate your community and all those who take care of the people in your community about this phenomenon, that cardiac depression is real, that it's more than just saying, don't worry, you'll feel better tomorrow. In terms of preemptive strategies, discussing it and letting the family members and the patient know if you begin to feel like this down, the symptoms of depression, tell us so we can address it early. And then I think that one thing that helps a lot in the post-operative time frame is cardiac rehab. My experience is that people who do cardiac rehab, starting about four weeks after surgery, the people who do the rehab very rarely get depressed. Perhaps it's being part of a larger group, people who went through the same thing, focusing on yourself. It can be, I think, prevented in many people, but should it occur, it should not be ignored. Mark, Mark, I can't tell you. I love the fact you brought up cardiac rehab because for me, I know in my recovery, cardiac rehab was a turning point for me. It brought me some uh, social benefits, physical benefits, and even um, just well-being. So I'm so happy you brought that up. You're using it with your patients. I've heard, though, it's underutilized by patients. Is that true? It's vastly underutilized. And I think that there are two factors that go into the underutilization. The first is a lot of doctors and hospitals say, we fix your heart, you're good to go, let us know if you have any problems, bye-bye. It, it doesn't end with the operating room, the ICU, and the hospital. The recovery, as you know, you know better than I do, extends in time, and cardiac rehab is part of that. The second factor limiting its use is a lot of patients say, I have a treadmill in my basement. I can just do that on my own. You can do the treadmill part on your own, but being part of that group that helps you in a holistic way, you can't do that on your own. So if you have a heart issue, do cardiac rehab. And last question, wrapping up, this has been great. When, do, when does a patient start cardiac rehab? After heart surgery, you start cardiac rehab at about four weeks. It need not be exactly 28 days. It could be five weeks, six weeks, three and a half weeks. And then it continues for actually as long as you like. There's nothing wrong with making cardiac rehab your rest of life exercise and holistic wellness program. Brilliant points, Mark. As always, thank, for, thank you for all the care that you and your team are providing to all the patients in our community who are coming to see you at the Cleveland Clinic. Thanks for your time and thanks for being with us. My pleasure.